What's going on my fellow rock and rollers? Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to be notified every time I put out a new video on my channel. In 1990, the Red Hot Chili Peppers appeared on an MTV Spring Break special where they were playing a dub performance of their song Knock Me Down. A day after their performance, two members of the Chili Peppers would be arrested by police and MTV threw the band off the set. What happened? Stay tuned to find out. Back in 1987, MTV launched a new program titled Club MTV, which was a dance show that featured a video of a song and showed some young adults and teens dancing to that particular track. Some episodes of the program also featured live performances by artists as well. And the show was part of the channel's second generation of programming as they introduced new VJs and hosting the show was downtown Julie Brown, who you can now hear on Sirius XM 90s on 9. If you guys have ever read the book I Want My MTV, which is a fantastic read, she seemed like an absolute nightmare to work with. But getting back to the story, in 1990 the program was in Florida at Daytona Beach for spring break and appearing on the show was the band the Red Hot Chili Peppers who were performing a mime version of their single Knock Me Down from their album Mother's Milk. Towards the end of the band's performance, the members started swinging instruments around and walking off stage, more specifically drummer Chad Smith and bassist Flea. What happened next wasn't shown on TV, but it made the news everywhere. According to the local police, Smith went into the audience, picked up a female 20 years of age who happened to be a student from Virginia and placed her over his shoulders. Smith was joined by Flea who allegedly pulled the woman's bathing suit partially off and started slapping her behind, according to a local beach ranger. And despite the woman's repeated protests and attempts to free herself, she was thrown into the sand. And following that, Flea would kneel atop of her and start grabbing at her and demand that she perform a lewd act on him. The woman was not seriously injured, but she was bruised and shaken by the incident. MTV security threw Flea and Smith off the property of the Texan Motel, which was MTV's base during spring break. Later that day, a warrant would be issued by the police and they would arrest both members. Flea, who was 26, was charged with battery, disorderly conduct, and solicitation to commit an unnatural act and released on $2,000 bail. Smith, for his part, was 28 at the time and was charged with battery and released on $1,000 bail. All the charges were considered misdemeanors and an MTV spokesman would say the performance would be aired the following weekend on the cable channel, but the offstage incident would be edited out. And in 1992, Rolling Stone magazine did a piece on the band and they brought up the incident with the flea remembering, I just grabbed the first thing in front of me and it happened to be a girl. I picked her up over my shoulder and as far as I was concerned, she was thrilled as hell. I didn't know that Chad had spanked her, which was a faux pas number one. And in spinning her around, I committed a huge faux pas, he'd say. And Smith would tell the magazine, they totally tried to make an example of us, and I'm not trying to blame anyone else. But the way it came out was that it was a real malicious thing that we tried to beat this girl up, he'd say. But Flea would express some remorse over his actions, revealing, I did verbally abuse her and it was wrong. I will admit to that every time. I wish I'd never done it, and it was really a stupid thing to do. I was out of control, but I did not assault anybody, he'd say. And the Florida incident, according to the magazine, did put a crimp in the Chili Peppers stage act for a short while, as the band's manager would claim that the Chili Peppers would soon become a target, with the magazine stating, but the firestorm of publicity now combined with the increased glare of the mainstream success and the rising tide of the conservative moral hysteria has forced the band to be more vigilant over the long haul about crossing the line between hormonal slapstick and what some people might consider sexual menace. That does it for today's video guys, thanks for watching, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. If you guys have suggestions for future topics let me know in the comment section below, take care.